All right, guys, this is uh, Nick and Ben at Douglas County Tennis, and today we're going to talk about the tiebreaker, and Nick's going to get us started. All right, so when to do a tiebreaker in tennis, when you get tied at six games to six games in a set, you don't want to keep going win by two, right, because we could go to seven, six, seven all, eight, seven, eight all, and you're going to be going playing a set for a long time. Once you get to six all, we shorten things up, and we do this tiebreaker scoring where you still have to win by two. You have to get to seven to win. But instead of doing the crazy points, you know, where one is 15, two is 30, we actually get to use real numbers and real points finally. Yeah, so that's really exciting. Uh, even though this is real games, I'm going to give you a demonstration real quick with Ben. Um, let's say start at zero all. Would you like to go through this? Yeah, go for it. Okay, Why don't you do it? awesome. So I start the serve, and this is the only interesting thing about tiebreakers. I only get one point to serve. After that, we always alternate two, two, two. Um, so let's say I do my first serve, I win 1-0. Ben's going to get two serves though, he gets both those points, 2-1, 3-2, let's say it's, I don't know, something like 4-3 now, we'll do like 4-5, and then Ben will finally, let's say, get to 7. Makes sense, so we're always going to be alternating the two serves, two serves, and once you get to 7, you win. Let's say we ended up tying again at 6 all though. That's where you're going to do win by two scoring, and it's not as intense, so it's okay to win nine to seven, you know, ten to eight, something like that. So this is um, the so it, the idea of this is that matches can last a long time. If you know um, if you know your history in Wimbledon, a few years ago, uh, Nicholas Mahout and John Isner they played each other, and their match lasted I think three days, because I don't remember the final score, but I believe it was in the 70s. So their fifth set, you had to win by two games. And it went 78 to 76. You'll have to look it up. But it's the longest match in the history of tennis. We can't do that in high school tennis or right. in Norway. Like, it's just too much. Yeah. So what we like to do is that six games, all tiebreaker. So, again, Nick was saying that we have to get to seven points in a tiebreaker. Win by two. So this is a way of winning. 7-5 is definitely one of those ways. It could all be 7-1. It doesn't matter, really. But just know that it... it it eliminates the time basically so these points are kind of crucial that's why it's a tiebreaker is kind of intense with this so if we're at seven all we still got to get to nine someone's got to get to nine seven if it's eight all ten eight and so on got to win by two but they're points not games which saves a lot of time exactly so when your kid basically when your kid is uh, doing a tiebreaker pay attention it's really big big deal because whoever wins that tiebreaker gets a set gets a set and if you win two of those you win the match, so that's a big deal. So make sure you cheer them on and keep keep uh, attentive of like the scoring because seven is the game. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Well, thanks for watching, and make sure you check out more videos at Douglas County Tennis. Thanks for watching, guys.